Gut zu Ende. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's going on guys? Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. So my name is Rick and today I'm going to get a new daily driver. Now, some of you guys know that about maybe two, three months ago, I sold my Mercedes CLS 55 AMG and I've been daily driving this thing. And as much as I love driving that car, it is not ideal for daily driving in Southern California. So it's time for a replacement. Now, I put a lot of thought into this because you spend the most time in your daily driver car. And for me, the CLS 55 really checked every single box for me in a daily. But I wanted something different. I wanted something newer. I wanted something more modern. And I think I found the car. So I'm gonna head to the dealership now and check back in with you guys and let you know if this is the car and maybe show you what it is. Okay, so I just arrived at the dealer and now I kind of gave it away. Yes, I am going to be picking up a new BMW today, hopefully, if everything works out. All right, guys, so the car has arrived and it is exactly what I was looking for. Here's the big reveal. All right guys, so here it is. 2020 BMW M340i X-Drive. So there are so many reasons why I chose this car. One of the biggest drivers was the fact that this shares the drivetrain with the Toyota Supra. So the, the now infamous B58 power plant, it makes all the right noises. It's extremely quick from the factory and it has basically unlimited modding potential. Let me just hop into the interior real quick and show you around. So, this car has black full leather with the M stitching. And you can see the kind of little M badge on the seat here. It's got the leather wrap steering wheel with the M stitching. It's got the new digital gauge cluster, which is really, really cool. So let me start it up real quick. So Rick got a new car? That's what I heard. Yeah, that's what I, heard. I haven't seen it yet. I think I know what it is. He was telling me he was between two different cars. Here he comes. Oh, what is you know that? what that is? What is that? It's a 340i. You hear it? Yo. Damn, Beamer Gang. All right. What do you guys think? Oh, you want the X-Drive? Yeah, dude. All wheel drive? All wheel drive, check it out. Look at that interior. So this is the B58, right? B58, yep. Same motor as the Supra in a family saloon. Dang. So four-door Supra? Four-door Supra? Is that a Supra? <laughs> is that a Supra? Dude, is that a Supra? Let's <laughs> pop it out the back. Yeah. It's got like all the blue stitching on everything. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Ooh, the burn. Yeah, the front seats are like the the new. You gotta change these M style up. ones with the with the stitching on it. Oh, yeah, it's like a little sport uh, pop out thing. Out. Does someone make a replacement grill that's like the normal BMWs? Yes. Or no? Yes. So you need to do that. So the the M three forty i has these this kind of like off color grill and this special like diamond grill, and then they also have these wraps too. And honestly, like. It's only been a few days since I've had the car and it's already kind of starting to discolor a little bit. So I want to replace these with the M style, the front grills for sure. So front bumper is pretty aggressive, but I really think that a front lip would make a big difference on this car. So you got, a, you got a lot of work to do with this thing. But this is cool. It's so Damn, weird coming out of a 
sedan. It sounds Isn't like a it? Supra. It sounds just stock like a there? Supra. Bone stock. Wow. That sounds great. Yeah, it sounds cool. Wait, let's go for a ride. Wow, this is way more modest. This is a 2020. Yes. 340. Yeah, 2020. Oh, they made a lot of changes to the G, G20, right? Yeah. yeah that's a G20 really nice. sedan. Yeah. It's way like more luxurious feeling. I drove Frank's um, M8 Grand Coupe, and honestly, the interior is pretty similar. Like is this it? kind of like probably layout. like the cluster. The same cluster, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, I've just been driving the thing around in sport mode because it's so, so good. Is this like, the same automatic as the Supra? Uh, yes, it is. Eight speed. It's the the, the, the benefit really here is you have M Sport differential and the X Drive, and I really wanted to get an X Drive car because not that we need an all wheel drive here in Southern California. It's close but I'll show you guys the, I've already kind of messed around a little bit with launching the car and it is unbelievable how much quicker it is because you just have no traction concern at all. Yeah. Oh. Wow, dude, this thing freaking moves. This thing's pretty fast. It really is. All right, we're doing launch control right now? Yeah. Okay. So I should just be able to do that. I fell on the brake. Send it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What do you guys think? Wow. That's Dude, that is fast, that isn't it? Really fast. So that wasn't really the official launch control. That wasn't. Happened, it didn't even it, kick into launch control mode. Damn, that sets you back. Yeah. Wow. Surprising. It's that's way different than my car. It's crazy to think this is a four-door sedan that's doing and this that, is fully you know? stock right now Bone wow. stock. i wonder how much power you can make with a new tune so from what i've read online these things i mean obviously b58s make a ton of power but from what i read online is these are actually faster than the f80 m3s so previous generation m3 yeah i believe it i mean especially with the all-wheel drive dude no worry about spinning because my car traction is a huge problem right now yeah so uh, that dude, that's good. what's huge is this x drive and you know the new g80 m3 the is competition is going to have the same x drive yeah it's a good pickup dude pretty crazy but now we just got to make it look right yep What you make it, I feel like a maze I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on drip. I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places, I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so abrasive. So I almost gave it. All this shit that I'm laying, and it's only the foundation. I've been going crazy. G20. Well, this isn't my first time seeing Rick's new G20. It's been here for a couple days now, and uh, we're going to be starting to install some of these carbon bits that you guys saw him unwrap. All these parts are from AA Concepts, so they're a new partner of ours, and uh, their stuff is really, really nice, and the pricing is great on all their stuff. One thing so, I noticed about the mirror caps is that they actually used a factory mirror cap underneath their carbon fiber, so that's going to ensure that it's going to fit like a OEM part, which yeah, is really awesome. nice. I like that, and it's super lightweight as well. So let me give you a little rundown Ooh. of what we got. Ooh. Why is the inside sexier than the outside? <laughs> I wish all carbon looked like this. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, so I'll give you a little rundown of what we got here. So this is the G20 Signature rear diffuser that they make. Really, really nice looking piece. Uh, so then we got the, the CS style rear lip spoiler. Um, they have a bunch of different options for lip spoilers, but I wanted this one. It's pretty subtle, not too crazy, and I think the CS style is gonna look really good. It's with like the a rest boomer. Of the car. <laughs> I think it'll come back if I throw it. So 
this is the AA Concepts G20 Signature Front Whip. So as far as I'm aware, Anthony of AA Concepts designed this, and I think it matches up really well with the kind of characteristics of the CS style uh, rear lip spoiler. Uh, so it has these peaks, which is pretty cool. Seriously, this is gonna make a big difference in the looks of the front end of this car. I really think that this is kind of lacking on the car right now. It seems like the bumper is just like, not only is it too high, it's really not aggressive enough considering the car. I think that the lip is really gonna to add to that. Then we have the uh, M3 style mirror caps. So this is kind of like a rendition of what the G20 M3, M3 will, look like. will look like maybe, right? We don't really know so at this, this is, point. This is more oh, no, like, we do now. This is more like F80. Yeah, are, yeah, yeah. And E90 exactly. even had this as well. Yeah. You know, I got to look and see like what the G80 M3 mirrors look like. They might not even look like this, but I think it's a great look because but it's cool cuz it yeah. creates that arrow look here exactly. like between and the door frame and the and the mirror and then also retains the factory and and i signal. think that so. the f80 style mirrors are like some of the best looking mirrors that they've done like okay. i love all the m mirrors yeah. and then we have the Top uh it off. we have the what do you call it the shark this fin. Is the shark fin so this just covers the um the receiver on top of the car so this is actually my first time seeing the inside of this car i see it on the outside all the time it's pretty fresh wow i like the I guess Rick probably has this set to green. I assume it changes. Dang, full screens. Dang, Richard Beckerman. This is cool. Wireless charging in here. Damn, son. I need to up my game. These 90s uh, JDM classics just don't have the technology that these new cars have. Damn, this is sweet. I definitely see myself driving something like this every day. It's maybe not a BMW. Oh well. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to do it. Let's get these carbon parts on this car. All right, so first up is the front lip. Damn, that's gonna look sick. Yo, 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 yo. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LABB who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah, state your name, big been dope on flame, I just switched the lanes, damn he did it again, I just flipped the pain. Alright, so we got the front lip mounted, I think this is way better looking than the front end of the new G80 M3, what do you think? <laughs> uh, I will reserve my judgment until I see a tuned G80 and Oh, okay. There you go. But for now, yeah, the, the G80 is definitely kind of an ugly duckling. But I think it's going to grow on everybody. Yeah, it's just like, damn, I love it. Slap on everything. Swimming, you sinking away. Because I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses. I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip I tossed it. I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh -huh. I'm excited to get rid of these mirror caps. Take a look at these yeah, factory ones. They're awful. Anytime it rains or anything, they just get water spots and crap. And like you just can't keep them clean. Coming in. Yeah. yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Nothing broke, so that's a plus. There you go. Wait. We're applying a little heat to the factory little poor excuse for a wing and uh, just wedging a squeegee underneath it to try to get it off and take as much of the glue off as we can. It's coming right off now. With the heat. Pull it out. Yeah. 
Look at this pathetic excuse for a wing. <laughs> Why even bother? Off with the old and on with the new. to do the rear diffuser. So we got the rear diffuser on. What we learned pretty quickly was that it does not work with these factory, uh, pretty ugly exhaust tips anyway. So um, we're gonna leave them off for now. Uh, the good part is I do have a full exhaust system that's gonna go on this car pretty soon. So when we get the new exhaust, we would've had to take them off anyway. So we're gonna leave them off for now and then the next time you see it, we'll have a nice exhaust on the car. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. We finished up all of the carbon stuff that we're gonna be putting on this car, except for one thing. We, uh, we didn't really touch on this, but we still have the M340i grills on this car. I'd like to replace those with the M, I guess they'd be the M3 style, even though it's like the old M3. M style, so it has yeah. slats instead of diamonds. Yeah, and it, it just really cleans up the front. carbon line. surround, I assume? I think we'll do carbon surround because that'll yeah, really match and tie, tie everything else together. Yeah, the little carbon touches on this really tie the whole car together. White cars with carbon, as we mentioned earlier, always look fantastic, so yep. this is a no-brainer. Okay, where can they find these parts? These so all the parts that you saw us install today are available on our website like I said before a concepts is a new partner of ours um, people are really liking their stuff we have stuff for f30 for e90 m2s uh, like we saw installed on Evans car so we've got a whole bunch of good carbon fiber goodies for your BMW made by AA Concepts. So as I mentioned before, we have an exhaust system already set aside for this car and you'll be seeing that in one of the next install videos. Maybe but, we'll be lowering it and putting some wheels on it too. Yeah, we <laughs> definitely need to. It's a monster truck right now. But uh, besides that, what else do you guys wanna see? Uh, this is a new, I think gonna be a really popular chassis to mod because of that B58 motor. These things- and They can rip. Yeah, definitely. So we want to hear from you guys. What do you want to see us do to this thing? Uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. So that's a wrap for today. That's all the time we have for you guys. We'll see you guys in the next one.